Tonight's severe weather has left thousands of people in the dark. First Energy is reporting about 3,000 of its customers are without power, the majority in Cuyahoga County. Major flash flooding around the Cleveland area today as well. We found high water along Harvard and Denison Avenues this morning. The flooding blocking the road for a few hours before the water finally went down. And a similar story in University Circle where the water was so high, drivers couldn't get through. However, it was much worse in Parma. Dorsina Drakeford shows us the damage to homes where families are already struggling. Usually, you know, we're up about over here, and then uh, today we're uh, up to this step. It's hard to imagine, but Dale Dotson has the video to prove it. I didn't think anybody believed me. <laughs> Floodwaters reaching five feet in his basement, and there was nothing he could do about it. We're all concerned about safety, and then now you have sewage backed up into everybody's house. He lives in Parma, known for its flooding issues. This time, it was personal. Anything I had from my childhood, any memories, any toys I've had that I saved over the years, you know, uh, it's passed down. Those are destroyed. Overnight storms cause flooding in other parts of Northeast Ohio, widespread in its damage. Canal Road, north of Rockside, earning its name with water stretching as far as the eye can see. Parking lots in the metro parks turn to ponds and flooding, closing down the entire towpath at the National Park. All of this at a time when stress is already at an all time high. The coronavirus pandemic leaving everyone uneasy. You have to be worried. You know, we don't know enough about the virus. That's a scary thought, too. It's like, all right, now, I'm, now I have to do this and I'm exposing myself to sewage and waste. Home after home damaged by the floodwaters, which has so many wondering now, who's here to help? You just have to sit and wait, and that's the worst part. You're just like, how much is this going to cost? What am I going to have to replace? Back in Parma, they're asking anyone who had items damaged by flood water to leave it out on your tree lawn for bulk pickup. They say they're only accepting items that were damaged by the floods. Now, they do say as city leaders, they are working on an action plan now. Dorsina Drakeford, 3 News.